Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to share with you guys a new swap that I'm hosting here on YouTube. So yay! I'm so super excited. It's been a little bit and I'm ready to uh, start another swap. So recently I uploaded a video for Wild Orchid Crafts. I made this homemade box and then inside I had six... Um, corrugated tags and they were super cute gift tags that you'd give to someone and they can put on their packages well lo and behold miss anna a fella 72 said that would be a good idea for a swap tamika hint hint which if you ever go back to the video she suggests that often so anna i'm taking you up on this so hey diva um i am gonna host a um gift tag swap so super cute i'm ready um I'm so ready for them to be here, ready to separate them because I know you guys are going to rock it. So, um, I'm going to leave this here because I don't have anything to put there in the place. So, what this will be is a um, tag-shaped gift set. Um, so, the, the tags that you make will have to be shaped. So, let me give you some examples. And all this information will be on my blog I will put a link in the description box so you guys can see um, if you want to just read it you know most people some people like to read and um, have all the information there if it's something that's not there that you have a question about then leave it uh, below and I'll be sure to answer it so let me give you some examples of some of the shape tags and yes I cut out a heart on my cameo and I traced it on this corrugated board but you don't have to have a machine for this swap um, and I'll show you another example too that I did you can print off a color or an image or a shape fussy cut it out and then trace it on trace it on your 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 medium whether you use lightweight chipboard or file folders or whatever it is it takes a little more work but you still can participate in it so that's one thing that I like about um, that so this is one of the hearts this is what I had in the video I'll put this video below if you hadn't had a chance to to see it but this is a gift tag so this will go on like if you had um, some bags so if you had like a bag and you wanted to put a gift in it you you know hang a little tag or if you were given a package to one of your scrappy buddies you know you need some tags handy boom there you have it so this is an example of one that I created and that's a shape I also made this one so stinking cute. It's a teacup. <laughs> I love it. And um, this one I you cut out and then for my it's it's you see it's pretty sturdy because you want it to be sturdy. We don't want two pieces of paper together. In between here, sandwiched in between my um, pattern paper is um, a file folder. So which is pretty sturdy. So you have the file folder and you have the front and back piece of paper and that keeps your tag pretty sturdy you can also use lightweight chipboard of course if you want to so this is the tag we want the tags to be good we don't want you know a simple shape tag with a string let me give you another example we don't want this please don't send you know a tag that you cut and put some seam binding on it that's not what we want we want to we want a good meaty tag. It doesn't have to be layered with tons of dimensions, but it has to be something, one, that you will want to get in return and someone else will want. But that's pretty to look at because that's the whole purpose of us using our stash and passing this stuff on. So anyway, I'm babbling. But you want to have a sturdy tag. So like I said, I use just the regular file folders that you get, you know, from the dollar store or wherever you, you know, wherever you get them from. Just a regular manila file folders. It has to have some sort of apparatus to hang the tag. I use seam binding in all of mine. You could use tool or ribbon or lace or whatever you want to use. But it has to have something so the person can hang it. And then it has to have a to from. It could be on the front or it could be on the back. But I left this so the person maybe want to write a little quick message. I left that one on the back or down here. And I just stamped the two from. You can stamp your two from. You could print it off in Word and banner it on there or stamp however you want to create it. Use stickers. But it has to have a two from somewhere so that the person who's given the tag can put, you know, where it's from. If you want to do a sentiment, make the sentiment um, something universal like uh, thinking of you or thank you or just for you or especially for you or um, 
you're so sweet, you know, something that's universal to giving a gift to someone because you don't want it to be late, you know, happy birthday or I love you. And that's not what the intentions of the gift is for. So we want it to be universal. So if you decide to do a sentiment on the front, um, make it a universal sentiment. Okay, there we go. So I did that. That's an example of a shape, shaped like a teacup. And I also did, this is the one um, in my little, my that's where I had my little pearl. I had an eye pearl here, a bling pearl right there. It's gone. But um, this is the one that I printed off the shape online because I didn't have a big bird die that I, that I, you know, wanted. And I didn't have a shape or whatever. Anyway, I just cut it out, fussy cut it, and then I drew it three times. Two on pattern paper and one on the manila. So that's an example. It could be done. It looks just like a bird. And I did the wing, pop that up on some dimensional. But I have some um, flowers from my stash here. They're glittered up and jessled up. I have my hanging piece here, seam binding. I did have an eye right there, but it's missing. And then on the back, I have two from. So this is a smaller tag in comparison to the to this one. We don't want it super huge. You see, we wanted to be able to fit in our hand. We don't want a really large tag because just something sweet and simple. Not nothing too too tiny. You guys know. Just look at it, and if it's something someone can write on a cute little tag, then you should know. Um, you know, you should know that that's good. I may put measurements on the blog if you guys um need it. I put measurements on there. So here's another tag that I created. See, these are so fun. I just couldn't stop. Like, oh, we could do a jar and a bird and a teacup. So many shapes. Be creative. Push yourself and um, just do it. So again, with the same binding, I have a tiny little cherry blossom for wild orchid crabs. And then I have it some uh, just some cut up lace. And then I did the layers on here again. File folder. And then this front. And then this is all glittered. If you can see the jar, separate pieces glittered. And then I have a little piece back here. There's my two from. And then I made a handmade flower and put it in the center and it's sitting on a bed of lace with some flowers. Super cute. Now, if you got a tag like this, wouldn't you be like, oh, that's super cute tag. And you can keep it and maybe they can reuse it. So that's a um, jar tag. And this one is my, I know I love it. This is my favorite. It's so cute. Um, this is a couple actually different um, shapes. I did the file folder and then two pieces in this doily design here cut that out here's my two from obviously and then I matted a, a circle piece die cut there uh, the circle could be your shape too it's a shape a uh, circle die cut here and then I layered three different butterflies and if you can tell I glittered them extensively this is one glittery tag put some pearls in the middle tiny little thread there and then there's my hanging tag it's so stinking cute I love it so that's an example of um, another shape. See how fun this is? Super fun. So, <coughs> excuse me. What I want you to do is they, there will be um, 36 spots for swapping. So that means there will be six groups of six. So you'd make five. And if you want to make one for yourself and keep it, you can do that. But you'd send five. There will be six groups of six. And then I'll have another um, five angels that if you miss the six 36 spots you are on standby and a lot of people ask me what an angel is an angel is almost as if you were designed for that spot like you signed up for that spot so you don't get anything less than the original people that signed up a lot of people think they just make the stuff and send it to as a favor but no you do get stuff in return so if you were, you know, one an angel and I called upon you and this has happened times I've, it, you know, don't get stressed out if you're angel number five. I've gone down a list of three or four and I got to the, you know, the last one and they've stepped up. So if you're on the angel list, I've contacted you via YouTube because the people who sign up for this swap have to have a YouTube channel. Um, I'll send you a private message and see if you can participate and fill it in and you would have enough time to create your tags and send them to me and then you would feel I'll tell you what group you're in and you will get that group's tags that person's tag who flaked or what have you so it's the same as if you signed up for the original spot so no we're not cheating you or you're you're just sending stuff off and not getting anything back so please um, if you missed the 36 spot sign up please ask to be an angel because we do need them sometimes so um, 
what else uh check the blog for sizes because i don't have that just yet just not too tiny i mean this is the smallest one and i believe this is four inches let me check yeah this is the four inches this is um and that's from here to here of course the meat is about that much but that is a little bit shy of four inches so this is small and it's not too bad um this jar no this jar is only five inches long so you know just nice they all fit in my hand see they all fit in the palm of my hand we're just that about that size okay and um you must have so the, the things are created shape tag decorate it all pretty and if you do something simple do something extraordinary so like i said nothing like this because you don't want to get that in return okay um um what else two from on the tag have to have a dangly you know element so they can hang it from there as far as postage you can send it whatever way that you want to send it to priority next day airmail walk it to me but it's coming back to you priority i find that this is the best way because it just is without going into too many details it's the best way because um it's easily tracked well not that i've had any problem with tracking but that's one of the the pros it's easily trackable because i send you your your um confirmation number because you get that when you ship priority and um if you can fit more stuff in it so someone most people send little goodies for their gift mates or their packaging is a little bit bulkier you can put it in that priority envelope and it's not any extra cost because there has been times where you know people send extra stuff and some of the other parties don't want to pay you know to get that extra stuff because they didn't you know they didn't ask for it which is understandable but in this case we just want you to we just want to do priority so if you, and that's like um five dollars and maybe 60 cents all the information will be on the blog so uh what else all of the tags must be packaged separately so yes send all five tags to me but like package them individually i just quickly just put this in a bag with a piece of um card stock behind there so and label your youtube name somewhere on the packaging because i don't although you know anna if, as an example hell okay it's anna anna fellas okay i'm like well who is that i don't know she's eight a fella 72 well that was a little more obvious but a lot of people just put like karen and you're like who what i don't know your name karen i know you as you know scrap diva 100 so I don't want to dig <laughs> I really don't like digging so let's put your YouTube name on there and your name or whatever blog information you want me to announce when we're doing the reveal videos but make sure you package them do your best I love I love it when you guys do your extraordinary packaging and so pretty and so so super cute so make sure you package all your individual tags or all your tags individually and then send them all to me and if you decide to package them where I can't see them I will not open them unless you leave one open I can seal it at the end but if you package it all up real nice with the bow and all that I just won't open I'll say your name and then refer you to watch the video so just to keep that in mind um, no prepaid postage it's dated and they will not accept it at the post office and um, I think that is it so yeah just make sure you find a shape cut it out add some elements some gorgeous elements to the front you can do vintage shabby chic cottage whatever you want to do just make it nice and pretty have your little hangy tag and a two from on the um the back of it so signups are open today today is july 1st and they will close when the spots are filled so when the spots are filled i'll put clothes on the title and please check the blog i will not send out personal messages to everyone so if i confirm that you're in you are in you will get a confirmation okay got you in and then you check the blog after the signups close which is probably a day or uh, two days and you can check and see what group you in and further you know further that so that is totally your responsibility to to check the blog um to see what groups after i give you the confirmation i'll say check the blog on wednesday or to thursday and you check and you check and see what group you've been assigned to um so that should work out you know pretty good i'm sure so like i said today is uh july 1st and the swap will close probably on the third but the tags have to be into me 
by you have one month to do them so they have to be to me by August 4th so you have one month because it's you know two days so you have one month that's a Monday Monday August 4th to me so please try your best to not to me I'm gonna say postmark by August 4th um, yeah that's a better that's a better thing so postmark by August 4th you have one month to do them and um, I've you know, I don't want to send you a package back and waiting for two and three weeks because I will. Unfortunately, I've done that and I will get an angel because everybody's waiting. They've waited one month for you guys to complete, you know, five little tags. So they don't want to wait an extra three weeks. So make sure you get it done and get it to me. And I will in turn turn them as fast as I can and get them back out to you guys. So um, I believe that's it. If I forget anything, I will type it up on my blog and I'm so super excited um, for the swap to start thank you Anna for the suggestion and I cannot wait to see you what you guys create thanks guys for watching this super long video bye